So this is part three of the short run costs of production. Hopefully it is the last part of the short run costs mini series. And this is video number six in theory of the firm. This is all in IB economics high level um, only um, for microeconomics. In the previous video, I distinguished between total costs, average costs and marginal costs and I introduced those three concepts and we saw what they looked like um, as diagrams. We had a look at the concept of average fixed cost, average variable cost and average total cost. I also introduced the concept of marginal cost and we had a look at how to calculate each of these from a set of data. If you will remember or refer back to the previous lesson, the marginal cost curve looks like a, um, a, a, a tick. Uh, the average total cost curve looks like a cup. Um, it falls for a certain amount of output and then it reaches a minimum and then it rises again. And the average variable cost looks pretty similar. It decreases at first and then it rises again. Now one of the learning outcomes in this unit is to be able to explain the relationship between product curves and cost curves. So these two product curves are product curves that we've seen before. This is the marginal product and this is the average product. Now we remember that while marginal product is higher than average product, diminishing returns has not set in yet. Once marginal product falls below average product, diminishing returns has set in. And this is why the cost curves look as if they are a mirror image. Okay, When marginal cost is lower than average variable cost, so the green tick here is marginal cost, and the blue curve here is average variable cost. When marginal cost is lower than average variable cost, diminishing returns has not set in yet. Once marginal cost rises above average variable cost, diminishing returns has set in. Uh, they look like they are mirror images of each other. However, you need to remember that on the vertical axis in this diagram, we have output. On the horizontal axis, we have number of workers. But here, on the other diagram, on the vertical axis, we have costs. On the horizontal axis, we have output. Now, this is not a very easy concept to explain, but it is one that's quite easy to visualize. Obviously, if the marginal product of the last worker you employed is actually higher than the marginal product of the one before, that means that employing this worker was a good idea because their productivity or their contribution to your output uh, was higher than the previous worker. Therefore, it makes sense economically to employ that worker because that worker has increased your firm's productivity and therefore has also decreased the firm's marginal cost. Now, we know that when marginal product is higher, than average product, average product will be increasing. When marginal product is lower than average product, average product will be decreasing. The opposite is true with marginal cost and average cost. When marginal cost is lower than average cost, marginal cost will drag the average cost down, so average cost will be decreasing. When marginal cost is higher than average cost, it will drag the average cost upwards and average cost will rise. So, so a final recap of the relationship between the product curves and the cost curves and their relationship to the law of diminishing returns. Remember in an earlier video, I explained that when marginal product is higher than average product, average product will be rising. It will be increasing. Once marginal product starts to decrease, we say, economists say, diminishing returns has set in. Then when marginal product 
starts to become lower than average product, it will drag average product down and average product will decrease. Now, the same holds, the same holds for the cost curves. When marginal cost is lower than average variable cost, it will drag average variable cost down and average variable cost will decrease. Once marginal cost starts to increase, we say that diminishing returns has set in. After that, as you produce more, marginal cost will be higher than average variable cost and therefore it will drag average variable cost upwards to increase with it.